What's up guys, welcome back to Austin Candy Gaming and welcome back to Gordian Quest. We have uh, the option to level up our characters. So, what do we need for these guys? I think we might take some more health for Alphonse the Rogue so that he can survive a little longer in battle. Catherine the Mender. I mean, she's going to do well with more intelligence for her heals and stuff. So I think we may go straight with a stat point for our intelligence. That's going to be really helpful. And Lucius, I mean, the boy's, the boy's strong. So we're going to pump as much into his strength as possible. So being a bit more tanky would probably be beneficial for him as well. We might come back to that. We'll circle back to that in a bit. So, what do we have coming up? We have a, a random blessing before our next fight. Do we have any gear that we can equip? I can't recall. So, this is plus one intelligence. If we slap that on Catherine, the mender, she will utilize it well. We'll chuck Lucius a health vial so that he can restore health if he needs to. Just a car's girdle. Perseverance. Plus two to strength based attacks. Okay. It's been a few days since I played this uh this run, so I can't remember what we we're doing. Uh let's go for the random blessing and then into the fight. So the random blessing has given us fervent prayer. For the next battle we get something. Let's just remember what that was in a second. I've been playing a lot of Gordian Quest over the weekend, but not able to record any videos, and I, I must say I've I've fallen far deeper in love with it than I thought I was going to. Um, over the course of a weekend, I've put well over 20 hours into it, and I'm, I'm fully stoked. I'm very excited to get into the campaign now that 1.0 has launched. Um, after this run, I think we'll begin to do that. So, right, let's chuck up some guard. We can also apply thorns here, so anytime we get attacked, we'll reflect some damage back to the enemies. What damage is incoming if we hold alt we can see who's getting attacked on this go and the only person that's getting attacked is catherine and it's by this guy who's applying seven damage and two bleed oh and you're doing six damage and you're just attacking into the air so let's smoke ourselves. let's try and throw out some damage to somebody and see if we can't get one of these guys finished off if nothing else We could throw out a bomb, but we're not going to. We're not going to do that. Let's guard ourselves a couple of times. We don't need to mend up right now. 15 damage and reveal a temp common heal card. Well, there's one dead, so there's less damage incoming. We can heal an ally in our lane. There are no allies in our lane. If we swap up here, we can heal Alphonse up for a little bit. And then Lucius is set to receive a punch in the face if he doesn't finish somebody off. So let's grant some might to ourselves. Let's hit them with Rend. We can, either f we can do 20 damage with our Slash. We don't need to block then, do we? So we'll do that. And then this lad's just going to punch nothing. Good work, mate. Oh, I'm fucking... I was mistaken. I was very mistaken. He came for me. Let's chuck some poison on him. Let's throw a throwing... Oh, we can't throw a throwing dagger at him. Right. There's no heal. There's no purges needed. If we swap down... Here. Do Blessed Strike. And a deflect. We might get a mend out of it as well. Yep. And then hopefully Lucius should be able to finish this off. Ah. Re restore 4 HP to self and allies in section. Are, you are we able to finish you if we... Uh... Hmm. He's doing 11 damage. And we can finish him. 
You're finished, buddy. Level ups come so quick and uh, um, and easy after uh, a short period of time. Once you start throwing out the damage, those level ups come in thick and fast. Who have we got? Lucius. So um, we could make you a bit more tanky. I don't think we need to learn any skills right now. Let's, let's make him a bit more tanky. She could probably do with tanking some more damage. Though increasing her blocks, her holy force, and her heals is also incredibly beneficial. We are going to tank it a bit more though. So we've got an unknown node here. A concealed node. And then an exploration. Ah, some supplies. Marvellous. A cave entrance. Can we make it here and then over to the cave? The crypt, sorry. Off we pop. Ooh. Stormhide. A rare heavy armor. Requires 12 strength. Grants block plus two guard with strength defense skills. Hmm, that might actually go well on Lucius. We don't need to restore any exhaustion. This gilded coffer contains currency item and a dead adventurer 30% chance to contain a random item. Go away, skeleton boy. Consumable, consumable, fountain. Let's go for one of the consumables. A splinter bomb. And off we pop. Um, heavy armor. Gives us an extra guard. I mean, that is clogging down our deck a bit with stuff that we don't really want. But it gives him an extra block. Guard with strength defense skills. So he's going to increase his guard that he does get. Plus three to initiative. Can't complain, really, can we? Can't complain. Though we are about to... Almost certainly get defeated by the realm boss. I hope that doesn't happen. Let's see how it goes. Th playing through the realm mode has definitely inflamed my excitement about going into... Finally going into the campaign mode. Because the character design for the enemies is genuinely is outstanding like i i don't know what the story does to lead up to some of the enemies that i fought but i'm excited to see it we what have you got durable takes 30 percent more stored damage from status effects takes less damage from other source so we he'll, he's gonna take more damage from poison than he would normally where's the damaging come in so you're gonna get attacked are you so let's Whack some guard on you. Some smoke bomb. I didn't mean to do that. We wanted to use stab. Let's create a burning ground on you. Let's do a guard. Hit a strike. Hit another guard. And just have to take whatever damage is incoming. An extra skeleton archer. Another zombie. Oh, and some burn. Okay. Thank you for stepping on the fire. That's going to be really helpful for me. You're not immovable, are you? So, we don't need to restore any HP. We can just... Let's try to... 
inflict vulnerable on him so that he'll take a little bit more damage 20 damage incoming more 20 damage five guard doesn't really do a lot for us we can shift him away to mitigate some of the incoming damage you're gonna do some burn you're gonna do an attack you're only getting hit for six and then chill you'll be all right you can deal with that mate you're a tough cookie right alphonse hit some of that guard i'm gonna do two lots of guard some poison out to you throne dagger and then we'll take what's coming has anybody got any ailments that they need purged they do not i'm gonna swap up here just so that we can mend and heal everybody and then let's let's try and get rid of a skeleton or two at some point six cold damage oh he's not gonna light that up him oh my They're really gunning for Lucius with this fire. Right. Let us. Put this geezer back on the flame. The longer we've got him on the fire, the more damage we're doing to him. Do some, We're just going to block through any damage that might come in. <clears throat> oh, you're hitting everywhere. For two disarm disables cards with attacks oh dear that's gonna suck we're gonna burn the ground under your ass as well and then let's apply poison to him whack a parry on and then do some damage five damage deal one extra hit for every action played this turn So we want to deflect any incoming damage a couple of times, I reckon. We don't... Let's do a heal. And then Blessed Charge. Try and get rid of one of these zombies. I know that they're just going to be re resurrected, but... Oh. So these two ice orbs here... Uh, at the end of the round... I, th I assume it's the next round, not this one. They're going to fire off in the directions they're facing. So if there are people stood in this lane, they're going to get hit by them. So we need to start thinking about maneuvering some of our boys around. We can get rid of you. You're dead. Block it up. We can get rid of you. You'll be dead next turn, hopefully. Let's move Lucius down one. shift down whack out some poison on the uh the old lich and we'll conceal ourselves as well we are going to take a move down does anybody have any ailments that they need cured we'll go for some guard we are almost certainly going to receive some damage more than I wanted. More than I wanted. But thankfully, nothing too painful. I'd hope that we're going to have something incoming now that allows us to... I think the Lich is going to be done this turn around. So, if we do a parry, a throwing dagger... That's all she wrote, boys. That's all she wrote. So, we've got a glacier. Grant's bone chill. Plus one intelligence. Chill stacks you apply are increased by three. Plus one spell damage per seven coal resist. Excellent. And some relic tokens. We can spend those in shops to purchase legendary items regain all fate points gain a legendary item all heroes recover 90 percent of the maximum hp no we'll go for a legendary item 
pick wisely. Some momentum boots, plus one to dexterity based challenges. Grants talent quick step. We cannot gain agility. Hmm. Uh, Iron Legion, an extra block, plus one to strength based challenges, plus three physical resist, plus two melee, melee attack. An offhand item grants rally, gain plus five speed up on kill. Plus three strength, plus four HP after winning a battle. Hmm. Let's have a look at what our heroes are packing. Nine and 13, 11 and 16, 16 and 9. Oh, I don't fucking want... <laughs> I don't fucking want any of them. Passive. After dealing damage, gain critical equal to the number of targets hit multiplied by five. I'll take that. We'll see if we can roll away the... Uh... Yeah. The enchantments on it and change them. No other chance to have chilling ground. No merchants. Consumable use is blocked in some encounters. No other chance to have burning ground. Ch burning ground or chilled ground. They have a chance to be shrouded and chilled. I think that's the lesser of these two evils because we may need consumables. The windswept citadel. Okay, let's get a level up done. We've got a couple of points here to spend. Alphonse, we're going to take the boring health for you, and then we're going to go for another stat point in dexterity. Catherine, uh, we'll chuck you another intelligence point. Lucius. We're going to whack you increased raw strength. So this is the talent socket when we unlock it we can swap in talents which are um things that affect our character for the long run so we can choose talents based around strength dexterity or intelligence and there are three tiers to those you can only access tiers based on what level you are i believe but hey ho we're gonna go for raw strength increase so all of his attacks are going to be significantly improved and his blocks we're probably gonna spec away from his dodge uh, because dexterity isn't his thing so we can probably um eventually we can remove some cards from his deck and we'll just take away the greens we don't need them so, do we want to go to a merchant? We've got a bit of gold. We've got the currency that we can... We've got currency for spending on legendary items. That gains four supplies and maximum HP. I don't think we need that right now. So, we'll go for that merchant. We'll go to this battle. Is there another merchant? I think that's the way we're going to go. There's going to be some frosting coming on this one. Let's increase our might. Let's do some bleed damage on this lad. Let's shift this guy to the front. Try and get rid of him quickly. If we can. So we'll do that. No, we can't apply poison to him. I keep forgetting about poison. And attempting to uh, apply it to people with guard. But it, it doesn't break through the guard. So don't do it. Let's apply some guard. Deal 15 fire damage. We'll heal ourselves. Fire out a couple of attacks. Now, there's going to be damage incoming. Mostly to her, or exclusively to her. Who's doing it? 7 damage. 7 damage. So she's going to take 7 damage either way. I think that's it. If I'm not mistaken, that's all the damage that's incoming. Everybody else guarded. Yep. Yeah. 
So we can finish you off for the most part. Try and get rid of some of your shields. Who are you taking damage from? You. Let's just get rid of you and then it's not a problem, is it? So you're attacking her. We will gain some parry. Throw a knife over here and... Apply a concealment for the future. Future-proofing ourselves. We will heal. We're just going to block through any damage that was incoming. We'll be good to go. That was a wise move on his heart, uh, on his part there. Oh, okay. So he followed up. Should have looked into that better. Show of force. We don't have any attack going out, which is a shame. You can, though. So put some parry on. Try and get some of this shield gone. Heal an ally on our row. We'll just heal ourselves. We'll block through any incoming damage. They might well just block up again. Uh, sorry, uh, guard up again. And that's going to stretch this fight out a little bit longer than I want it to go. Poison finished him off, which is great to see. You do love to see it. Finally, we get to do some damage. We'll shift down here. Fanny's your aunt. Job done. So we've got some renown, which is for currency, for legendary currency, and some gold. A swift level up here. We're going to go the same route with Alphonse, I think. We're going to give him increased dexterity to improve all of his dexterity based skills. We will also look at Catherine. We're going to give her plus four intelligence. Lucius, my friend. So we have down here, we have the ability to unlock a new grid. So this is our upgrade grid. Very limited. But we can choose skill blocks that we add for our next level up. And if we look at them, they have some of the same things. Some skills and some health and stuff like that. But then they also have reduced deck size skill mastery um we can add upgraded cards from each of the uh the the schools of combat so we can add uh, increased swordsmanship skills increased warrior skills increased leadership skills plus two stat point over there plus two stat is good another talent socket i'm not going to complain about it if we can get one Let's pop that on there. So either way. We're going to go that way. And then we're going to take... We're going to increase one of our skills. I think we'll in increase... Um, bleed. Uh, yeah, the rend. So we increase the damage and the bleed that it applies. And then on our next level up, we can take another talent socket. Now, we don't know where any of this leads so i'd like to say that it's a good idea to go towards the merchant because if this is a battle we can at least heal up then we've got the opportunity to forge to modify the upcoming nodes let's do that got some extra fate as well a great battle oh thanks very much that's really helpful so what are you doing poisoned ground and you're shocking targets in the middle row. So if we jump over to this oasis, the oasis is going to heal us up for three HP at the end of a turn. We're going to conceal it. I think we just took away the oasis. <laughs> I think we took away the oasis. That was really fucking stupid. Let's defend ourselves for two. I think we'll do holy damage there. 
heal ourselves, whack out another strike. If we swap these two boys around, we can apply the bleed damage to this lad, some block, and some dodge. There is damage incoming, but I uh, say so he's going to create poison ground, isn't he? Thankfully, not under my ass. So, you can be poisoned. Supply our parry. We don't have any ailments. We are stood on an oasis. We can just come in with a strike. Some block. Nobody's got any negative effects, have they? We can apply some regen on him, though, so that even if he does take damage, he'll start to lose it. Um, hmm. Are we rooted there? We are. Let's just guard through. Finish him off. Oh, he finished himself off. That was very kind of him. I don't know entirely what he did there. More plate armor. I'm very much looking forward to just breaking that down. So we got a couple of legendaries, didn't we? Bone Chill. That is... Chill stacks you apply increased by three, plus one intelligence. So we'll... Oh, she's already got a plus one intelligence. Let's take that. Let's give him an intelligence socket for now as well. Do we want to give him boots? He can't gain any agility. So we won't keep on him for too long. Yeah, because dealing damage will gain critical for the next hit, which is going to be really useful. So we'll take that. Let's chip down to this merchant. Don't be shy. Take a gander. I will. We don't need any supplies. Thank you. We don't need any relic tokens. Random unstable artifact. Random legendary ju jewelry. A single relic token for three fate. A random piece of jewelry. I don't really think it's worth it right now, my buddy. Legendary belt. Ah, okay. That can give him the artificer's tool belt. Plus one to strength-based challenges. Gain five guard after building a construct. He doesn't have any constructs at the moment. We could certainly look at doing it. Embrace of the Night, Legendary Dagger. Grants a stab, plus two melee attack damage. Melee attacks will apply pull, recover four HP on kill. There you go. Alphonse has got himself a lovely little dagger. Embrace of Night. Um, hopefully we can buy some uh, gems to sock it in it. So he's got a couple of legendaries and everyone else is uh, going without at the moment, it seems. Oh, Stormhide's the better, the better of the two. That's only worth four gold. We might have to just break it down at a later time. Ooh, a salamander's eye. Unstable artifact. Hmm. One last look at what he's got. So he's got an intelligence and a strength rune. One channel charge. Two HP. Ah, okay. There is no attached skill on it. Plus one strength. Plus one strength. Let's grab a couple of those. Grab one of those as well. Grab two of those. Fuck it. We'll go from there. And I think we'll we'll leave your shop. Thanks very much. 
Let's socket some stuff in these. Increase focus, increase strength. You can have increase focus, increase strength. No complaints. Right. We don't need to go to the safe passage. We can go down here and then potentially go to the forge. Is this a battle? Indeed it is. Oh, it looks like a tough one as well. There's ice everywhere. We need to get out of this. So let's get out of the ice. Um, we've only got the option to block. Which sucks. Let us apply poison here. We'll do increase damage to him with that. And then we will melee him to death. And maybe this guy as well. And then we'll shift back here so that she can slot into this one. We're going to just drop back here. Whack some shield on. Finish him off so he's gone. I don't think we need any heal. Everybody seems to be full. Okay, well, let's go from there. Oh, dear. Sorry to see that happen, buddy. Got some slashes we can chuck about. We should probably hit up some block just in case. All damage taken by the, a unit directly behind will be transferred. Oh, so we're not going to get hit anyway for the moment. Alphonse. Let's throw that at you. If we throw the dagger at the bat, it should take six more damage from that. So 13, lovely. We need to shift out of that square and block. D 10 damage to all enemies. And let's block anything that's incoming. What have we got here? Trigger. This card, this skill activates conditionally, then discards itself. Let's gain some might. Let's pull you up onto this frost. We, sh we could move down and then um, come in with a slash. Hopefully we can rend the guy behind as well, ready for the next incoming attack. After doing damage, gain critical. Seven damage to you. We can't do anything, but she will be able to. And that's it. That's that battle. And we have another level up. And some studded leather armor. Someone may be able to make use of that. Champion's iron gauntlets. Nope. We're going to take those for our buddy. Whose name I've completely forgotten. Lucius. I thought it was Lucius. Okay, we can go to a forge, tinker with items that we have, or we can upgrade the world. That makes the most sense to us at the moment. We'll do that. We'll just uh, add some modifiers. Increased XP, enemy side of the field is trapped, adds a consumable item. Enemies have increased initiative and chilling ground, chilled ground. Frontline is barricaded, area contains difficult terrain. Well, we won't go that way then we'll go this way so we get some more supplies and a waypoint i don't think we particularly need to use the waypoint so we're not going to yeah there's there's absolutely no reason to so we've got two haste we're gonna go ooh. let's go there Marvellous. Then we'll take the treasure goblin. 
and the ornate chest. Some iron greaves and some gold. And we're good to, to disappear. Let's get the hell out of here! And we are due for a level up. But I think we'll save that for the next time. I've been Arsenic Candy Gaming. You've been bloody marvellous as always. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. I've had a good run. I don't know how exciting it was to watch this time around. Uh, it's always nice to bring something new to the channel. I think once we get through this run, um, positive or negative, no matter what the outcome, I think we're going to look at starting the campaign mode just to bring something a little different. By that time, most people who have uh, picked it up already and don't want spoilers will be further in than I am, so they can no doubt spoil it for me instead. I look forward to seeing you again on the next episode. You take care now. And goodbye.